Okay, so started on the CVT to today. Uh, didn't really intend on starting on it, but anyway, look, it's pouring outside, so I may as well make a start. So I'm gonna start with the front axle. I'm starting to work our way backwards, and um, we'll see what bits and pieces we need along. I'm gonna do it step by step at the time, I suppose, and you know, see how we go. So I have the front mud guard off. It was a pivot front fender, but it's, it's been through a lot, it's been welded here and it's been welded here and the bearing is bad in it so I need to rip it up, do the bearing in it, see what's going on with the shaft, why it was welded so badly. But um, I was trying to beat the wheel studs off as well and they're pretty welded in there so I'm going to have to come up with another idea that I send all them away to be zinc plated uh, in the silver colour. Uh, we'll rip off our top wishbone, do the bushing on him. I think the bottom one is okay, but I'll check it anyway. Probably do a ball joints when we're in here and our dry shaft hanger is in pieces. So, I'll have to check that out. Check them knuckles as well while we're in there. And yeah, check that center pivot. I think there's a bit of wear in him as well. Um, and then get to the other side of it. I think I might put a centralized lubrication system on us as well. I'll see how we go as uh, as we get along. Right, so I have the drive shaft hanger ripped, which basically just involves taking out the two of these leads, which were in here. But somebody has just uh, shimmed it up before in a couple of washers, which is after the trick I do myself to give them a bit of a tighten but this one has uh, gone past that so what you can do is your top pin there you need to get that out obviously to get your hanger out and get this uh, top wishbone lifted up out of the way and there's an M8 thread in that you can thread in an M8 bolt and just pull out your pin but as you can see nobody was ever really fond of over greasing it it's a, so we will get all these bits and pieces next job is lifter um, top wishbone and take our bushings out of this. So we're just ripping the hub. I thought about it and it's the conclusion I've come to. <laughs> uh, I want to take off the wheel studs. I was trying to beat one of them and I think they're traded in. I have an awful funny feeling they're traded in from memory. So I will try and try them out because I want to get them zinc plated. And when I have the whole hub off then it's going to make it easier for me to um, beat out the wishbones or the wishbones as I the ball joint so I'll strip the bottom one there now and you know the whole that will drop down it'll be able to come out easily and then I'll be able to beat out the two of them uh, a bit easier so I'm back at the CVT 
just uh, we were doing a, a heap of power washing and stuff like that we were doing all the week so didn't get back at it until now but anyway my wheel off of the front mud got skin off and I was just of the top all trying to ripped here now I made a mistake at the other side you see the the wording goes through this, this rubber hose and I broke it at this side but now what I'm going to do with that because that'll look a bit crap if I just leave it like that so I'd know when I get a new one a new hose and get a crimped or what I'd have to do but I'd have to do something with it anyway but anyway when I took out the two bowls I noticed they were very oily looking and normally there wouldn't be much oil there there is a seal to stop the grease coming out that far but when I took it off all that grease would come out through there so I'll have to clean all that off now before we go any further So that's cleaned off since we removed um, must remove this cover beat the pin that way will the bush you can see that quite a bit of play on that top one but bottom one's not too bad and the ball joints are done totally and utterly mm -hmm. done so We'll change the four ball joints and we'll change the bushings on the top arm. I don't think that bottom arm needs any work. We'll do the drive shaft hangers. We'll do the hub seals while we're in this far. We'll strip the other hub. And that'll do the front axle of it. I think there's a bit of play in that centre bush. Might do that as well while we're this far. And of course, like the other side, clean down a bit now for painting. I don't know what to do really. Like, I'll take off the bonnet now next and I might as well paint the engine and the whole lot. I might as well just paint the front axle, leave the engine alone. I don't know. You let me know. So you will have seen, um, you will have seen us at the other side getting the pin out, which was absolutely no bother. But this side, <laughs> oh no, this isn't going coming out too easy. So I'm after getting some blades here now for this, uh, this saw. We're going to try this. We're going to try and cut down there. We've all we've heated it. We've we welded it. I cut a socket and welded it onto the end there to try and twist it. We've done everything. If we the next step will be to take the front axle off and uh, press it out, but we'll try and get away without that if we can. So I'm going to try and cut it out here now. So we got our wishbone cut off uh, yesterday, and now please ignore this little bit here, but rest of it okay. Um, what we've done now is we've welded this on here to give ourselves a chance to hit it out. This is our last ditch attempt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ridden this piece here and hit this with as hard as I possibly can with a sledge. See if we drive out the pin. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm heating, heating the castle that the pin is in and that allows it to expand I mean, you know, it gives you a bit more room then to be those pins. So I get it red hot, and when it's all red hot, actually glowing red, I go around to the other side and I hit the pin out. And in theory, that should work, but this really is my last ditch attempt at this. So we have our axle ripped now. Eventually, it took serious, serious heating. And where's the pin? Here it is. Here is the offender. You just absolutely see a solid in there. You can even see the flakes of rust coming off of him. But um, I just look, it took several attempts of beating him from one side to the other and, and eventually we got him out. But the bushing came out with him as well, so. That's our hub off. It's now time to start cleaning down, fixing bits and pieces and getting the front axle back together, so. I suppose we nearly have enough footage there now in stripping the axle, make a video. We'll make another video of putting it back together and we'll keep it going like that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you for the next video.